Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to talk about some variables with Mr. Spencer. I am Mr. Conrad. So let's take a look and see. But we're going to talk about variables. We need to know who cares. And to be honest, it depends. That was a joke, huh? It was. It was a rather corny joke, but you know, sometimes you just got to deal with it. Uh, so the first thing, we got variables that we're going to talk about. So make sure you write all this down in your notebook. Uh, something that is able to change and is measured in an experiment, okay? So when we've got variables, when we've got those things that are, that are changing an experiment, we also have to remember that we need to keep some things constant. We need to keep some things that, that are never changing. They're, they're staying the same. So that way we can figure out what's causing things to, to change and what, what isn't. Okay, that sounds really like a good idea. So now we have constants. Uh, like we said earlier, things that need to stay, th stay the same throughout the entire experiment. You can't start changing something halfway through an experiment. That's going to vo uh, void your results, which is never a really good idea because then you got to restart the whole experiment. We're gonna, and who, wants to, who has time no, for that? Let's no, be honest. No, okay, people. Or, ooh, I think we're going to talk about plants. I think we are. Now, now this, so this is, this is interesting here because um, – I, like every spring, I get really excited that it's spring, so we like plant a garden. Okay. And I love spicy food. So one Ooh, of the I things... Love spicy food too. It, it is good. Mm. It is good. Um, so every year, like I go to, to Lowe's and I, I go and buy all these pepper plants. Okay. Because I am going to have, I'm going to make like the perfect salsa and... Ooh. So you've a got spicy a, salsa. This, a spicy salsa. A so we're gonna go salsa. with with jalapenos, we're gonna go with habaneros, so, serrano, something like that, something like that. But every year, it flops. Maybe you should go to a different place and get your peppers. I don't know. I, I, I think it might be me. I think it might okay. be me. Anyway, uh, let's talk about what you use. Okay, so let's say Mr. Spencer is gonna do um, grow a jalapeno plant, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna grow a jalapeno plant, and we want to try and keep an experiment to see. Uh, who who does better? Okay, so some of the constants that we would have would be when to have the same amount of dirt in yep. both of our pots. We want to use the same amount of water each time we water them. We want to have make sure they have about the same amount of sun. Okay, because if I use more, then that would kind of negate our experiment that we're taking uh -huh. that we're having going on. Right, because we want to we want to make sure we want to see if it's something else that's causing the the changes here. Okay, so so we think about. There we go. Okay. So then we've got to think about what are the, the variables? What are the things that we're changing that are causing the, the plant to grow? So okay. So I think in this case, we want to go with fertilizer. Yeah, we're we want to go say, with fertilizer. Mr. Spencer doesn't do a very good job of fertilizing stuff, so that's why it doesn't work. So I would be in charge of, of that, that Okay. Variable. So that would be your independent variable. Okay. So there I go and mess that up. So that's the one that he gets to control. That's what mm -hmm. one thing that's going to change. Mr. Spencer is going to use fertilizer on his jalapeno. I am not because I am awesome at growing a jalapeno sure. plants. So the, our independent variable is the amount of fertilizer Mr. Spencer is going to use. So that's the only thing that's changing between our two experiments mm -hmm. is he gets to use it and I do not. Okay, so then our dependent variable. So, oh, before whoa, we get whoa. to the de dependent variable, here's one way that I remember independent variables. Ooh, do tell. Is I, I am in charge of the independent variable. Ooh. So that's the I, me, and independent Dependent starts, starts with an, an I. I, so I that's like one that. one way that I remember I it. Like so anyways, that. moving we'll, on. We'll scoot on. Uh, the dependent variable is the affected variable or the one that depends on the independent variable. Hmm. Because that can get a little tricky. That can. That, that's a little wordy, but let's see if we can figure it out. Okay, so since Mr. Spencer gets to use fertilizer with his, mm -hmm. and I am not, we're hoping that the height of his plant is going to be a different growth. It's going to be higher, taller, better uh, jalapenos than my plant. Mm -hmm. So that is what is we are working on. It so you're depends saying, yeah, on how much... Go fertilizer Mr. Spencer gets to use, whereas I do not. So we're not actively changing how much it grows. No. But that that growth depends on how much fertilizer, fertilizer. I put on that. Yes. That makes sense. Okay. Makes sense. I think so, too. All right. So now we got something that we want to try. We actually are trying this. We are doing a jalapeno cha challenge. How to grow more peppers on a plant. So this is a little bit different than the, the first. This one. is a little, little bit a little bit different. bit different. Okay, so we want you guys to try and talk about real quick what needs to stay constant. Okay, you also need to go through what would be your independent variable and what would your dependent variable. Now, if you need to, you might want to go back. Remember, we wrote down what were constants. 
This time, I want you guys to go back and change something that was one of the constants. That is now going to be one of our variables. So this time, Mr. Spence and I are both going to get to use fertilizer. You guys have to figure out something that needs to change that would maybe change the outcome of how well mm -hmm. our plants would grow. Sounds good. Let All us right. know what you find.